Welcome to our channel. Let's do it together. Today we're gonna cook lobia pulo or Persian green beans rice. These are the ingredients: three cups of basmati rice, ground beef, and the tortilla bread. I will use one in one half. One head of onions, cinnamon powder, smoked paprika powder, garlic powder turmeric and ground pepper the seasoning i like to use saffron powder i grind them and the cooking oil salt uh, green beans i already sliced them and fry that to cut it like this i like doing like that just it's not that too thin but i like this kind of shape i find it cook faster you cut all of this like that now we're gonna cook in a pan you just need to put a little bit of oil make sure you stir it from the bottom to make sure there's no green beans that are burning and so that they're evenly cooked like that and you can cover it it helps to cook fast actually but from time to time you have to check it the beans are already cooked i'm gonna take it out from the pan oh, for the rice i use basmati rice three cups so i'm gonna wash it first and make sure once you wash it you don't eat like that because it will gonna break just a little bit for mm. oh the three cups of basmati rice i just put the water a bit yes like that it's okay if you put a bit more because you can drink the excess water later on so don't worry about it that's why i will put some salt i think i put one in one half tablespoon now the rice is ready the rice should not be crunchy it should be like a little bit grainy in the middle and then after that we're gonna rinse it give a quick rinse in the cold water with the cold water let it drain completely i'm cooking the onions i'll put my my stove in a high heat the max level i can smell now the onions aroma I like to put black pepper i had the time one teaspoon of salt then i will ground beef gonna keep cooking it until you see it release some fat and to that i'll be back the beef are already cooked so it's look like that. We're gonna put our seasonings. That is the garlic and turmeric. Gonna blend that. Paprika. It smells so good. And I'm gonna put the Guinness seasonings. This is from Filipino store. It will give an umami flavor. And I will put the saffron powder. I like the smell with the saffron. And I'm gonna put the tomato paste is about like a two uh, tablespoon. Now I just mix it, all the beef. I will put the cinnamon powder. You can add more if you want to have to have more uh, taste of cinnamon. This will taste my ingredients before I I mix them in my rice. As you see, it become dry. So I'm gonna put two more tablespoon of water but it must not be dry. So the consistency has to be like this. Your taddy will not be crunchy. Now I have to taste if it need salt and that's perfect already. And I like to have a bit more taste of saffron. Add or a bit less some of my ingredients. You can personalize it actually. Now at this point, I will put my green beans. The green beans have to mix it together. One medium heat because the green beans already cooked. We just need to incorporate them, mix them well. I'll be back once it's done. Put oil, your oil should be cover all the space. Put saffron, give it a swirl like that, and we're gonna put tortilla. It's exactly this exact pit. For I layer this, my secret whenever I used uh, tortilla bread when I make my stuffed rice. I give a uh, two minutes fry. Know that later on it will be crunchy. Hear it already the sizzling sound. That's it. The oil is already hot, and the tortilla underneath it's cooking as you see. Now to layer it with rice first. Alternate it. 
rice and then green beans like that you put the beans layering and you put rice again and green beans again so i'll be back once i finish it and you can put the rice like this like the pyramid you put more in the middle this just i make like three layers of rice and two layers of green beans and it's important to make it a air passage like that i just make gonna make like five hole this you're gonna see if every, if this hole already closed it means the rice ready cook that's the trick i'll put in very very low heat i will put the lid on until it cook but around like 30 minutes you have to check your rice how it is going it's ready almost ready or not and put a dash of saffron mix it and we're gonna pour it on top of the rice you can get the rice put it here like that and you can put it back this is optional if you like it to put butter on the top of your rice before you pleat it over oh the rice ready i will now teach you how i will pleat my my pot Base uh, cold water i'm gonna put the rice here as you see i put the rice like that that is to i want to make sure that the tortilla that we put under it it will not stick so if you're using non-stick pot you don't have to do this step but mine is uh, not already brand new so sometimes it's stick for me i want to put it like this it's just easier for me to take it out later but wipe under your pot because it's wet and i like to flip it in a big feel like this this is the oven quality and here we go look how it is come on guys let's see it i will put some on my plate and it smells so good the cinnamon the saffron like to eat this with some greek yogurt just a just a spoon of yogurt mm, so yummy come on guys so crunchy see mm. Mm. yummy please subscribe and follow us in facebook thank you